Okay, we are going to demonstrate the question time with SOFO program. Uh, what you got to do is first, of course, be sure that your robot is turned on. Now, what this program will do is allow SOFO to ask 10 different questions. And you program each question into each one of these boxes right here. Say this is good for you. Um, for example, you know, your child's reading a book and you want to test comprehension out or what they've learned um, afterwards. What SOPO would do is ask the question and then the, the person can write down the answers on a sheet of paper or a notebook paper or type it in or whichever you'd like to do. Um, what you do here to start is type in question one, click on the little gear here, pops up this box. Now you see within these, all you have to do is type in within these parentheses right here. You just clear this out of here and just type in, for example, let's say some math questions here. What is 4 plus 4? All you have to do is come over here and click on save. All right, that question's done. Now just go to the next one over here. Let's go, let's say, for example, what is 56? Um, let's just say times 3. Come over here, click save. And you continue the same way through all of these right here. Now what you can do is come over here click on the gear button here clear this out and you can type in the person's name in here I'm just going to type my name for example that way SOPO will be speaking my name throughout the program now all you have to do is click on the start button here it will automatically start and connect to the computer I am now connected and ready press my A button or my B button to start the question time program. And all you have to do is just listen to Sopo and he'll tell you what you need to do to continue through the program. So he's waiting on us now to press either button. Press this okay. one. Let's get started. You have selected the question time program. Press my A button if we are playing on carpet. Or press my B button if we are playing on any hard flat floor surface. Now we are on carpet, but it's flat indoor outdoor carpet. I'll choose D. Okay, I have adjusted my speed for any hard floor surface. Be sure you have typed in the 10 questions that you want me to ask. Now, press my A button when you are ready for me to ask the questions. Alright, just simply do that. Come on, I am ready when you are. Press my A button to start. He's a little impatient sometimes. <laughs> All right, A button. All righty. Now remember, my A button is the repeat question button. And my B button is the next question button for this program. Okay. What is 4 plus 4? Okay, let's see. He's asked a question. Now, to continue through it, you can press one of the buttons. If you're not sure which one is which, you can just simply press the button he'll let you know what to do or to repeat. So let's see here. A may be to repeat. Let's see. What is 4 plus 4? Exactly. See, so if you didn't quite hear the question, you hear it again. What is 4 plus 4? Or you could come over here if you're ready to go to the next question. Colin, do you want me to go to the next question? If yes, then press my B button. If no, then press my A button to hear the question again. Let's say I accidentally hit the B button. I really wanted to hear the question again. I just clicked the A button. Still, what is 4 plus 4? See, he asked the question again. If I just definitely know, I want to continue. Colin, do you want me to go to the next question? If yes, then press my B button. If no, then press my A button to hear the question again. I'm going to the next question here. What is 56 times 3? See? And he'll continue this throughout the entire, all the way to the last question. And there you have it.